Well, after nearly a week of carnival fun and food, one of Bemidji's biggest summer attractions has come to a close. But the talk of the town has been last night's fireworks display. Our Brenda Mack has reaction. Kind of seemed like there was one firework and then another one. It was just kind of a drawn out process, but it was still, it was fine. Every summer, Bemidji attracts thousands to its 4th of July fireworks display, but this year, some attendees were not too impressed. Compared to the previous years, it was a little disappointing. Immediately after the show, people vented their frustration and disappointment all over social media, saying the fireworks were too far away and they can barely hear them. I thought it was going to be better. But for some, it's the location they chose that made all the difference. Behind the Carnegie Library on the hill. So. We saw it from the hill um, just past Pollen Babe. The weather was perfect. The fireworks were awesome. We will definitely be back. It was just a wonderful, wonderful night. So The main difference in this year's fireworks display was its set of location. The original launch venue here had to be moved out towards the water in the center of the lake due to ongoing construction in the area. It was our first year doing the barge and our main concern to start out with was safety. We wanted to make sure if anything were to go wrong, it wasn't near people watching it. Uh, so what we did, we looked at where we could have it that would be the safest for the community. There was nowhere, nowhere else we could shoot it from on land with all the construction and buildings and stuff. We had to move it to the lake or we couldn't have had it at all. The Bemidji JCs who organized the annual carnival and fireworks display says they will continue seeking public feedback. They changed it a little bit, but it was, you know, it sometimes change is good, and you know, it, I think it worked okay. So congratulations to everybody who worked so hard to put it on. The Bemidji JCs also reported a record number of sales, and they said all profits would go back to the community. In Bemidji, Brenna Mack, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.